Hello, welcome to the Straw Family Farm. You're rocking the camera. I'm Christy. I'm hitting the bottle. Yeah, that's RJ. It's high on Mountain Dew, ain't you? Alright, let's do this. It's cool. It's all cool. <laughs> no, it's not. Alright, yeah, this is cool, Weekly Update 160. It is. Yes, it is. Uh, it that's is November so good. what? The 18th? Is it the 18th yet? No, yeah. oh, it is. Okay. So the 18th episode, or not episode, weekly update 160. Okay. In the barn stalls. Mm -hmm. You got in trouble. You got in trouble. I did. Tell them what happened. you try to ride whiskey? Yeah, I tried to ride whiskey. And what whiskey. was wrong with whiskey? Quit shaking the camera, dude. Mm. Um, he was wanting a limp. Well, we had other things going on. Tell the story. Um, what were we doing? Dirt. Oh, yeah, Mom and I were dirt working with dirt. Now it's good because... Kid. Let's start with derp, okay? So in the barn stalls, derp. There we go. We got us the start here. Dad hasn't been working him, so he's bored in his stall, correct? Mm -hmm. So there was one day Dad got home early. Go ahead. And he went out to work with derp. And what did derp do, son? Hmm? Derp salad. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like one of the horses not liking something. <laughs> um, okay, so what did really Dirk do? Sour. Hey, what did Dirk do? Uh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? They're the off brand of the things sour? I always get. These are sour jacks. Watermelon slices. There is an off brand. There's an off brand. I normally eat them, but those are the off brand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's <laughs> Fat free, but man, they are kick. <laughs> okay. What was Dirk doing? He, he was. Lee was trying to walk him, and as Lee would pull on him to make him go, what did Dirk do? would try to buck. He would jump in the air. Not just craw hop, but like jump in the air, kick his legs, acting up. What? I don't know. I just always wanted to act like I heard something. <laughs> no, I did hear something. It quit. Did you hear that? Your phone's over there. Mine's here. Hmm. Nothing. Alright, anyway. So he was <laughs> full-fledged... <laughs> bucking <laughs> so rj and i took over because if a horse doesn't respect you he's not going to listen to you and the horse obviously has no respect for lee he wouldn't um do anything that lee asked uh so rj and i took over and got him behaving right correct and when you went to get whiskey then you came back to help me with derf because derf is not a small horse is he no he is a baby, and he is... How many hands do you think he is? Why do you keep eating them while we're podcasting if they're sour? Go on, see my face to the camera. <laughs> oh, my glands are hurting. Take so many. Help me. <laughs> I should have stuck to one of his eyes. <laughs> My eyes, my glands, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> so you did that? Ah. You did that just because you want to see what your face looked like in the camera. Yeah, I was eyes where I could see. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying over here. I'm 
Oh, <laughs> one at a time. I can eat one at a time. <laughs> All of that because he wanted to see what he looked like on camera eating something sour. I wanted to see what. Yeah, yeah, you make that funny face, and it's always funny to watch your friend do it. <laughs> I wanted to laugh at myself, and then I couldn't see my eyes in the water. My glands went hurting, and then you started laughing, and everything got worse. But now, now back to. Okay, so Durf, while I recomposed myself, Durf was acting up. You went to get whiskey. What happened? Okay, you can't talk about that because that's not what we're doing right now. That's. In another segment. Okay, so come on, back on track. These people are gonna quit watching because we are just dorky. Uh, please don't quit watching. Like, subscribe. It's <laughs> not a good time to ask for that. Okay. Um. If you haven't paid your pants by now, laughing <laughs> this week. Okay. My so you went and got whiskey and yeah. was gonna go ride and gather cattle. Yes. He came. He had whiskey in the halter. Walked over, helped with Durf, and then he took Whiskey back and saddled her up. Had his mind on Durf, mm -hmm. and when he went to leave the barn after you got her saddled, that's when you noticed what? She was limping. Mom looks over and sees the limp and tells him, get his butt off. We do not ride the limpy horse. Um, and pretty much, what did you tell me? Okay. But I don't have anything else to go gather cattle with. Yep. So I hollered real big and got cooped and she walked right on in. The, she'll come to me, but not to him because she knows he's going to make her work. Oh. Yeah. So, I can catch almost anything. One. You can handle one. Are you going to be able to see your face this time? <laughs> that one wasn't very bad. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so he got in trouble, and do not. Let's get through the podcast before you start, please. <laughs> Remember, we do these in one take, if at all possible, and that's why he pulls, pulls some of his stupid stunts. We don't edit. What you're seeing is how we really are. Um, anyway, moving on. So, Coop came up, and you went and gathered cattle, correct? Yes. What did, when we were switching out the saddle, and I walked over, what did I notice was wrong with Whiskey? She had a bump. Yep. It's a bump from either being kicked or whatever. Um, and what it is, is it was on her upper chest, about the center, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> we're trying to get through the podcast. Yes, he's always this dorky, guys, I swear. This is not made up. It's not. This is the way he always is. It's a lot to handle. Um. Anyway, so she's either gotten kicked. Remember that we have six or seven. Do not. We have six or seven horses, and we've got three donkeys now. They range in size. They range in um, stature. And pretty much they range on the pecking order. So, um, one whiskey. One's this big. And one's this big. That's whiskey is about order. middle. She's about middle ground, isn't she? Coo and Star volley for head alpha female. And they're number one and two. Uh, for a while, Star got the best of Coo and Star took over as female, correct? Mm -hmm. But Whiskey is like number three. Her and Precious volley a little bit. But Precious really isn't aggressive. So I'll bet you she tried to take on Star or Coop, huh? She was in a pen. I mean, she yeah. Wasn't. But anyway. So she has a bump. It's being doctored. Pretty much it just is swelling from being kicked. So we put them on an antibiotic because that helps keep any infection or anything down. And then um, let's get through the podcast. Okay, and so there's two calves in the barn, and why are they in there? Because nice and toasty warm. Okay, but why do they need to be kept nice and toasty warm? Um, to have scours. Yep, so they're on corrid, correct? Yep. Alright, anything else going on in the barn stalls? Um, tomorrow, if all goes well, Ginger will be joining Donkey Kong out on the pasture, correct? I couldn't do that one. Now, we did do a little bit of research, right? 
What did we find out about donkeys? How long are they pregnant? 11 to 14 months. So, if we put her in with our little miniature, which we have friends that say they have run miniature and standards mm -hmm. together and never had babies. Right? Right. Now, are we going to let him run with her? It depends on how it goes tomorrow mm -hmm. with uh, Donkey Kong. If they get along, they'll stay together. If not, she's going to have to go back in a pen by herself until, what do we say, mm -hmm. March? Yep. As lamb breeding season is ending, we'll put her in just in case he can get it done. We're not sure. So, if he can get it done, I don't want to pull a little foal, donkey foal, born in the middle of winter. In the middle of winter. So, um, we've heard it both ways. Our little uh, ginger is really small, so mm -hmm. we don't know. We don't know. Anyway... If she has one, she has one, she doesn't, she doesn't, we don't care. Either way, right? It just depends on which one um, she's with. If she takes Donkey Kong, he's fixed, so he can't do anything. Um, and the miniature is the one that's not fixed. And, yeah, now he's playing with them. Try to knock some of the sour stuff off of them. There you go. I was helping. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Just set him aside. It'll be our... Okay. I knocked it all off. You're not supposed to play with your food. <laughs> yeah, mister. <laughs> you have to play my food. I'm going to play my food. Anyway, so I think that's all we really have in the... Um, Barn stalls, correct? What else? Next is mending fences. What have we fixed on? Um, we're still working on the stalls out there. The wind, today we're, we actually, RJ and I were going to go out and put the back tin on and put all the boards in. And what we found is it's cold. And I think it was 39 to 40 mile an hour wind. We had to drive home from a rodeo in it last night. It just started blowing really bad. And we had to drive home from the rodeo. You are not Mother Nature. Quit shaking the camera. Earthquake! You do that every week. It's annoying. It's annoying? Yes, it's annoying. I thought you said it was like a nine. Not annoying. <laughs> I thought that's how hard I was shaking. Nine on the Richter scale? No. Yeah. Annoying. See, what's this one? This is like a two. Stop. Stop. Let's get through this. We're already okay. 13 minutes in and we're not getting it done. And look, now you're dropping them on the ground. <gasps> yeah, kid, you eat that. Yeah. He's trying to fight with the dog so the dog doesn't eat it. Anyway. Alright. Get off me. What did we fix? We didn't get anything done. Why didn't we get anything done? Today? Hmm? Yes. I don't know. Okay, so in the fields, what did we get done in the fields? Now that we have something to talk about. Where'd you go yesterday? To town. To town, to the community garden. What did we do there? They let me out. Mm -hmm. They keep me on a short leash though. I can only I can go back to the gate far. Okay, and so. And then I get. <laughs> okay, stop. What did we do in town? Doug. Four holes. That's what you did. What that's was you asked? You said what did I do in town? I said what did we do in town? No, that's what you asked the second the first time you asked what did I do in town. Alright. Spill it out for them. What did we do? What did I do? What did anybody do? Dug four holes, set up a trellis for the community garden. Then Yes, we took in the community garden's trellis and Trista is super excited to have it. And what did we figure out as we were digging those four holes? Let's see if I can say it really, really, no. really. No, make it make slow. sense because it's kind of cool. Dad's grandpa, my great grandpa, used to live where the community garden is. That's where their house was located. And when Homer and Lillian passed away, they sold the house. 
and whoever bought it didn't take care of it so the city came in and burn it down and um, I guess they tore it down burn it down anyway they took over and then they donated the land to the community garden so RJ was actually digging holes right where his grandpa used to dig holes I hope he didn't dig holes in the driveway it's not well, the one part was driveway, but the other part was, uh, and I'll have to look around and see if I can find a picture of that old house. But anyway, it was kind of cool. What goes around comes around kind of thing, full mm -hmm. circle, four generations. And the part that is really kind of cool is RJ um, was born in October, and Homer was buried in March or April. I'm not sure which month. So, how is that? He never knew you. But yet, together, you have interest in the same plot of land. Mm. You never met, and just by circumstance, came around. Okay, stop wobbling the camera. It makes it look like it's off. Makes what look off? The recording. No, he's not going to say anything at all. Alright. Um, so what else did we get done in the garden? We did we did one for us. I did mine by myself. And I did learn that it will, the little bars, if you're doing it by yourself, it will come back and hit you in the head. Just saying. Like this. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Quit. I just want to take her hand off. No. Leave me alone. Just I'll just pick it up just a little bit. Shit. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Ahead. Oh, no, you didn't. In the yarn farm. Did we do anything in the yarn farm? No, we did not. I didn't. I have some wool drawing, but I still... I just haven't gotten out there. Uh, Ooh. I'm done with the craft shows, and I need to move everything out to the barn, but... I still have two totes of stuff up there, which somebody was supposed to put those things back in. Did you get it done? Yes, I did. Okay. They need to make a mountain new bottle with the little finger handle so you can go. See, you just go. Anyway, so moving awesome. on in the farmhouse. Or oh, you can like flip it up over your. How would they do something? He's on sugar. All right, so in the farmhouse, what did you do last night? Why are we tired and half silly? We weren't in the farmhouse last night. We left early and got home late. Where'd we go? In search of warmer weather down south. But the Nothing. ploy went bad. It got so cold. So where'd we go? To they the rodeo. They can't hear over that. Oh, we went to the rodeo just in case you missed that part. You stop it. How did you do with the rodeo? I did okay. Wasn't good, wasn't bad, but it was okay. Quit shaking the table. With your I'm leg. not shaking the table. I'm not even touching the table. Mm -hmm. As he moves his legs over. <laughs> All right. So I just do the cap open. I want fourth. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And in the uh -huh. team roping? No good. Well, no. you roped one. I roped a leg, leg for one. Broke out. Broke person. out with another one. And your header missed mm -hmm. on the third one, so he never even got to throw his rope. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. Anything else going on? Because he's just being silly. This is like 20 minutes sheer silliness. Not even. Uh uh. I'm at 19 no minutes, updates. 10 seconds. Not really. Okay. So what else do we have here? We do have this. Mm -hmm. What is this? Hey, it's time to tell him about this. Ooh. Okay. Watch so this, I was in Lowe's. Hang on. You have to set it up. We do not have to set up. We just have to show them. They will be amazed. No, because the whole thing is I wouldn't have bought them if they hadn't been on sale. Okay, so I went into Lowe's to do some um, exchanges and stuff. He's going to get the other four. There's lights that turn on like this until... <laughs> See? <laughs> they are Sylvanias. They normally run $9.97. Look at this. But... Dude. I See got those little beads right there? That's how you turn them on. I got them. I can turn them on with the light bulb too, but it will not light up the light bulb. We tried. 
We did. Well, I tried for like 20 minutes. But and she anyway, didn't. they have these things you can put magnet, uh, See, magnet right there. on the back. Ha. Or you can put Velcro on the back. Or do throw, show me Velcro. The thingies weren't very good, so I just added my own Velcro. Where are these going? I got five of them. Come I on. bought everything on the clip strip. They're going to the barn. And these, like I said, were they're called dotted linear swivels. And what's cool is that they oh, they oh, rotate. I got an idea. I want to see if this degrees. works. All right. Science at its finest, didn't it? Mm -hmm. You do know that anything that will conduct electricity will turn it off and on, right? This doesn't conduct electricity. I was making sure you were right. <laughs> well, these. Conduct She's right, guys. Anything that will conduct electricity. These conduct electricity because that's the shocking effect you get when you put them in your mouth. <coughs> Anyway, I got, there's something I wouldn't have ever bought. Um, there'd be like stuck up in a closet or whatever. Um, but for $1.52, I couldn't even get a flashlight for that. So, um, we're going to stick them to the bar, uh, to the bar. She's right. I tried it again. And they'll have enough light that we can get around. They're running AAA batteries. So, but this one is magnetic because we're going to use it to go back and forth and it will stick to our dry erase board, right? And there. So these are pretty cool. We got these. Um, anything else? Quick, don't break the glass. Come on. Anything else? On the serious side. <sighs> Alright. This coming up week is Thanksgiving. What do you have to say? And thank you for all the food I'm going to eat and all the food I've eaten in the past. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. And just know that we really are thankful for you. Because if it weren't for you, I None wouldn't have would help possible. dealing with this. None of this would be possible without you guys. <laughs> and I'm not sure that those guys want us this week. No. But anyway, we are doing um, a meal. If you were anywhere around, come on by. I know a couple of people that have called and said they might be out. Right? Yes. Anything else? Yep. If anybody out there has a million dollars in a beach house they need to get rid of. You'd be thankful Our to address it. is H -C oh, I know what else. 61 Box 16 Lenapal. L E N A P A H 74042. Oklahoma. What state. Okay. L A H O M. I know we're not getting a. Okay. So just I in had. Case, Mom, just in case. It's just in case. One it's lady there. asked what. Um, we had some mail. Um, we had gotten some halters in the mail. Oh! The stickers. Look at the stickers. Please. Now. Thank you. Hurry up. Okay, so we had one lady who, come on, please, so we can get this done. Yeah. This is, you're the one that took them in there. Oh, no. It's like a light bulb comes on. And sometimes it doesn't come on for days. I'm telling you. Anyway, so we had a lady contact us. Um when she saw that we got a gift of halters and she's like, is there anything she could do? And there are everyday items that we need that, you know, anybody can mail us. It, it's not a big deal. Um, I just never thought of doing it. One lady said do an Amazon wish list, So we're going to look into doing that. And if we do, we will put a link to that. I don't know how hard it is, but another lady, she likes my soaps. And she is all about, I'm not very fancy. I just have my soaps. And she is all about packaging. Bye. She loves, okay, please stop. Um, now I've got to wind them all back up because you're a dork. Okay, so she gifted us. She made these and had them printed up. And they're for the soaps. And we're looking for some cute, uh, 
way to wrap them. The glare is really getting that, huh? It's a high gloss. Yes, looks it awesome is. in person. It, it looks awesome. But she left a space so that we could write, um, like, bare bones, apple, tomato, whatever um, we need to on them. So we're looking at it. A couple of, she gave us some ideas on how to wrap them. And then these, um, put them, and I, I've had two or three different people look with them done on top and some on bottom, and they really like them on bottom best. Mm -hmm. So these are going to be on the bottom, and I think we're going to take a little um, piece of brown paper and have that wrap around it. It's really cute. Um, but there will be something wrapped around the soap so the soap isn't exposed. Um, anyway, but she gifted us these, a thousand of them. We are super, super excited. I did, what, eight bars? just to play with how to wrap them so I've already got those wrapped and we used red and white like a waxy type they're food liners but we needed something with wax so it didn't stick to the soap but um, Leslie who is the lady who's doing this for us came up with a couple of other ideas so we might try those um, so over the next couple of weeks our packaging is going to be changing right um, world that you know it as today. That's right. Never change. That happens anyway. So the other thing is, is that I am going to ship to switch the um, shop. Our online shop only has free shipping and flat rate shipping. So we've been playing with the flat rate shipping, and I didn't want to charge as much as the flat rate boxes, but it looks like I'm going to have to, mm -hmm. um, because the only other way that we can find to do the soap is to raise the price of the soap a dollar to offset how much we were losing on the three dollar flat rate shipping so those little boxes are i think six dollars and twelve cents and unfortunately that's what we're gonna have to ship our soaps in aren't we so flat rate shipping it's gonna change unfortunately i said we local get pickup is still launcher. free we zoom it in on their house and just whoop, yeah. the front door right there. Just stick it right to the front door. Mm -hmm. Pow. Talk yep. about delivery, guys. So, anyway. Just hope we... nobody opens the door when it's killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got him. He has oh, a... that soap rash. <laughs> he has an active imagination. Anyway, so we do appreciate the gifts. Anything from, you know, whatever you want to do. We appreciate it all. The stickers, the halters. Um, we will make a wish list kind of thing. A right beach now, house. we can we're totally not go beach. for a very I'm not beach. moving. You have to move. You have it's to leave just all a your animals. Summer home. vacation beach house. Like, no. No. A million dollars is still up. We'll take that. Um, okay, so the one thing that we're telling everybody right now is if you are a knitter or a crocheter or whatever, all of our, um, I see, you're doing it. Stop. There's a delay. I tried to tell you because it's trying to focus on us. Did you see that? Like, I'm turning it on right now. It doesn't go off right then. Like, I, well, see, it's See, right not, now it's not delaying. It's because no. you're sitting still. We have right, an old moving. computer. Stop moving. it. No. Anyway. Just a second ago, it did it, guys. I swear to God. It, like, glitched. And if you rewind this podcast, I had said that it was doing it, but apparently not. I didn't notice. I got another round one. No. Sit still. Anyway, so, what were we saying? Oh. It's, like, spot on there. The, yes, I know. Okay, so. <laughs> the one thing that we can use always is if you have any scraps of yarn and you want to knit or crochet up our uh, like little doggy jackets that we use for the sheep in lambing season so um, there's plenty of free patterns out there we just do a flat part and put a little strap for its neck and a little strap for its belly and a way to secure it and we don't even use buttons we just tie them so um, it's just flat square with a two thingies and we just tie them on and they're fine. I mean, unless you want to get fancier with them, we'd appreciate those. That's the one thing that we're always needing with lambing season coming up. I'm like hitting the bottom. God. All right. 
I'm getting off the chair. We're done, right? Just babbling, just babbling, babbling, babbling. Um, not a whole lot going on. Babbling. Wow. A couple of animal issues. Still working on the stalls. The trellis is in. We're just babbling. I should have just said that two-second clip and never even put him in the podcast. It would have been so much faster. And thanks for the gifts. These are, honestly, these are amazing. Amazing, amazing. I wish I could get, like, good. They're kind of crooked. These are cute. Anyway. All right. We're off in here. It's over. We will talk to you next (laughs) time. I'm out, guys. I'm out. out. I'm out. He's off his rocker. That's what it is. He's out and off his rocker.